You're too young to be a real estate agent and represent me and my real estate. What's up guys, Steve at Steve Invest, helping real estate agents, real estate brokers, grow their businesses with a path toward financial freedom. This week, I'm actually over in LA to attend Vid Summit. I'm gonna gobble up all this intel for you guys to bring back so you guys can hopefully grow your real estate channels as well. So the other day, I sat down with a new agent. We were interviewing the agent to come on board to our organization over in, uh, in Southwest Florida, and the, the conversation came up about his age. Now, he's uh, 21 years old and uh, kind, of, um, kind of timid and basically brought up his age and quote unquote being um, looked at as being too young to be a real estate agent or too young to be taken serious. So this guy has been with another real estate company for a year now and hasn't done any real estate transactions unfortunately. And the problem is I think this is one of his main clutches that has really affected his growth and his performance in, in breaking into the barrier of entry into the real estate industry. Look, at the end of the day, life is filled with objections and rejection. So we have to change our mindset right away as quickly as possible, especially if you're green or you're new to the real estate industry. It's, it's all about mindset. So you can tell he was down and out and I immediately stopped him from further damage. And what do I mean by that is, all he was doing was using that as an ultimately an excuse not to perform in real estate. So I immediately stopped him and I said, look, I'm gonna provide you an objection handler so when this does come up, and I don't even think it did come up, but if it does, when it does because of your age, I have an objection handler that you're gonna have to memorize, internalize, and utilize for your real estate business if it does come up. And I get it, I was 20 years old when I got my real estate license and I think we all think that, you know, I'm too young, I'm too green for anybody to take us serious. But at the end of the day, it's all about working hard, gathering the experience and intelligence, and ultimately handling the objections that come forth our way. And if you're young and you're green and you don't know the answers, that's fine. People love the truth, they love honesty. So if you don't know something and you explain that you're gonna find that intel, find that information and get back to them in a timely manner, they're gonna appreciate that much more than you trying to fake it or try to come up with something that's inaccurate information. So always be honest with whoever you're working with, say I don't know this information but I'm gonna get it for you. 38 years old I've been in real estate for I think about 17 years now and I can tell you there's still a lot of things that I don't know there's still things that I don't know about certain communities or areas or um, pertaining to finances and so forth so it, it, you're always going to be learning in this business so in all my years of experience I've only had it happen a couple times where somebody's actually said something about being too young in the business or too green. So there is an easy objection handle that you can use for this. And I'll also put this down below so you guys can actually copy and paste it and put a part of your, your archives for objection handlers. But you're going to go in to say, I appreciate your observation. And I can tell you I actually utilize my youth to my advantage and your advantage. Can I explain why? They're going to say yes. Well, I can tell you, because of my youth and my energy levels, I can tell you that I feel like I will run circles around people and other real estate agents in the industry. You want somebody that's gonna be hungry and aggressive in marketing and promoting your property, don't you? Now, what are they really gonna say? After you ask them that question, which is closing question, they're probably gonna say, yeah, you're right. And then you're gonna go into your closing. So is there anything else stopping you from signing with me today? Again, guys, it's all about handling objections. There's only a handful of common objections that buyers and sellers are gonna have. As long as we can master handling those objections, we're gonna do extremely well in this business. But what are you hung up on? What's a common objection you're currently getting in your real estate business? Leave a comment below and I'll respond accordingly to each and every objection. If you got any value out of this video, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell notification. You'll get uh, notified every time a new video comes out each week. And also, uh, again, as mentioned, I'm here in Los Angeles for Bid Summit for the entire week. I'm going to gobble up as much information to bring back to you guys to help you grow your local real estate channel. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I do appreciate the support. Thank you.